so let's just talk about post request in express so the post request is one HTTP method and that is used to send data from a client to a server so we can use the post request and we can submit data such as form input or JSON object so some of the key usage are so here we can send form data like the registration details to the server and secondly we can create new resources so we can send data to the server and we can add new records to the database such as some new user profiles and also thirdly we can upload files to the server and fourthly we can update resources so we can send data to the server and we can modify the existing data that is on the server so these are some of the key usage of the post request in express so let's now see how we can create one post request so first of all we have to define the post route so we have to use app.post we're gonna use the route slash data and then we have the callback method with the request and the response now the data we send to the server will be available in the request body so we can get the data using the request body so we have to write request dot body now after that we're just gonna respond and we're gonna send back the data now to test the post request we need tools like postman so in this tutorial we're gonna use the extension called thunder client so this is very lightweight uh, api client so we're gonna install this you can see we have this logo so we can launch our thunder client from here so thunder client has the ui same as postman so you can see here so we can select the request method and here we can have our api endpoint we can add headers auth body and so many other things we can add parameters and values and here is your response window so thunder client has the same ui as the postman so the advantage of this is that we can directly access that directly from within the vs code and we don't have to install any other softwares like the postman so if you want to learn more about postman so we have a dedicated playlist you can check that so now for now we're gonna use the post request so from the drop down we're gonna select post and here we're gonna use the local host local host 3000 slash data so that is the api endpoint now in the body we have to add some data so we're gonna add the json object username john so let's now click on send so you can see we're not getting anything in response and that is because here we're sending the json but here in the file we must use the middleware to parse the JSON bodies. For this, we have to use the body parser. We have to import the body parser. And then we're gonna use the middleware app.use and we're gonna use the body parser dot JSON. So this is the middleware to parse the JSON bodies. So now if we send the request, so now you can see we're getting this JSON as a response. And here also we can send other details like the id now if we send so in response we are getting this json file so this is the way we can use the post method to send data to the server to create or update resources so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one take care